This is Did You Do It? It's 11.26 p.m. July 29th, 2018. And we're at the earth.nullschool.net. And the reason I'm here is because uh, earlier today I did a video reaching out to Steve Olson and Eric Briggs. And there's something that I noticed that I think really deserves its own uh, special attention. We're looking at the Tibetan, the Tibetan Plateau here. Okay. And we are in the air mode. The height is set on surface, and we're looking at the temperature. I clicked on the little green spot there, and it shows 11.4 Celsius. Now, I was just looking through the, uh, the uh, HPA altitudes and watching the temperatures change, 11.4 to 43.8 degrees Celsius to... Okay, 34.8 at 850 HPA. And then at 700 is 24.2. And at 500 is 24 point, uh, okay, at 500 is 3.5. Okay, now I'm going to give you a table there showing you the HPA altitude uh, conversion into height. And I'm also going to give you the uh, centigrade Fahrenheit conversion table. But... Um, what we're looking at is this area right here. It stays warmer no matter what it seemed like. And this is the Tibetan Tap pl Plateau. Alright, now. What I, what I ended up doing was uh, I wanted to check into some type of Indian uh, weather meteorolog meteorological site. Maybe they had satellites, which I'm sure they do. They got a, a, a number of them. See if they we can't get some information, more information about Tibet and their weather. Okay, and I ended up here. This is a, uh, a place called DN Main D, uh, DNA. We'll call it. Okay. And I'm I don't like reading, but here I'm gonna read something to you anyway. All right, India, which recently launched a record number of 104 satellites in one go, would continue to do so and saturate the orbits. A U.S. space expert had told lawmakers, but said it was not a matter of concern. We should not be concerned with the congestion. We should be concerned with not understanding where these things are going and how they are behaving so that we can help businesses and commerce thrive, said Mor Moriba Ja, Associate Professor of Aeros Aerospace and Engineering and Engineering Mechanics, University of Texas, Austin School of Engineering. you got to consider the source. Never went to DNA, don't know Moriba, okay? But then he goes on to say the U.S., as of now, tracks 23,000 objects in space. But with 23,000 objects that are being tracked and others that are being detected but not tracked for a variety of reasons, it poses a huge problem, Ja said. Huh. But with 23,000 objects that are being tracked and others that are being detected but not tracked for a variety of reasons. Oh. Well, who is Moriba Ja? That guy. Okay. I like him. But uh, I'm going to give you his link. And uh, it's just interesting. That caught my attention. It got me sidetracked from this uh, anomaly here. Now we're at. We're back at the Tibetan Tap Plateau. Whoa, what a hard word to say. I want to show you something. I want to zoom out on, on the globe. And if you notice, there is nowhere else at 500 HPA, which is about 18,000 feet, I think. There's nowhere else on the whole planet where it's that warm at that altitude. That's it. I mean, those are cooler, colder spots there, the purples. But that's the warmest place on Earth at 18,000 feet or 500 HPA look at that that's a very unique situation going on up there okay the, okay the plateau Tibetan plateau and this area let's go check that out what's up there well almost near Mongolia huh there's China there's China yeah Mongolia look at that so, let's see if Mongolia is included in our little uh, situation here. Yes, it is. OK. 
Okay, surface, white surface. Well, Mongolia's surface stays warm, is warm at the surface, but it also increases in temperature a little higher and stays warm and stays warm. So this whole region is uh, very unique. There's some more higher altitudes that uh, stay in warm. Not too far from the Gulf of Aden. Where did I hear that before? Okay, well, this is Did You Do It. Sorry to bore you.